Hey, Taylor from Taylor Budgets here and in this video we will be talking more about the cash envelope method or what we like to call it cash stuffing. Alright y'all, let's go! Okay, let's talk more about the cash envelope system or cash stuffing. By far it is the most unique and creative way to budget. In my opinion, it is what makes budgeting fun. You get to use nice envelopes, really show your personality through your cash envelope system. So if you are unfamiliar with what the cash envelope system is, it is basically when you utilize cash and envelopes to budget your daily expenses or even your savings categories. Cash stuffing eliminates you swiping your card and potentially overspending because you are setting realistic cash limits for your budget categories. So let's break it down a little bit more. For your daily expenses such as groceries, gas, etc., you budget a certain amount for each category and stuff that amount in cash in that designated envelope. So for example, if you budget $100 for groceries every two weeks, like I do, I stuff $100 into my groceries envelope. The fun part about this method is challenging yourself to spend the cash in your envelope only. <laughs> because that is what you budgeted for, right? Now don't get discouraged if you happen to overspend in any of your categories. It happens, we are human. Just remember that budgeting is a marathon, not a race. So get back up on that bike and keep on pedaling. <laughs> I hope that made sense. <laughs> so other than your daily expenses, you can also use cash stuffing or the cash envelope method to save for future holidays, events, or goals. These are called sinking funds. I like to think of sinking funds as mini savings accounts. So when you are cash stuffing for your sinking funds, you are stuffing a little bit of cash each time you get paid into those savings categories in anticipation for when you will need that money at a later date. So for instance, let's think about Christmas or those huge family vacations. Those are times when we tend to spend a lot of money overspend and we may use our credit card let's be honest <laughs> so what can you do to alleviate that financial burden you can use sinking funds so each time you get paid you can stuff a little bit of cash into your vacation envelope or your Christmas envelope so when those times come you have a peace of mind because you consistently saved up for it now you may be wondering can I use the cash envelope method or can I cash stuff to pay off debt? Absolutely. I'm so glad you asked. Let's talk about it. <laughs> so let's think about ways we can make paying off debt fun. For me, I am focusing on paying off my student loans. I currently have $101,000 plus of student loans. So to make paying off my student loans a little bit more enjoyable, <laughs> I set a monthly goal for myself that I want to save and I put it away in my student loans sinking fund. Right now, that monthly amount is $365. So when I get paid throughout the month, I cash stuff a little bit into my student loans sinking fund until I reach $365. At the end of the month, I take that $365 out of my envelope, deposit it into the bank, and I make a $365 student loan payment. So for the year 2022, that is my student loan debt payoff plan of attack. $365 a month, cash stuffed into my student loans sinking fund, and then at the end of the month, make a student loan payment. And that is how I utilize cash stuffing to pay off my student loan debt. So all in all, cash stuffing is just a fun way to manage your spending, your savings, and also your debt payoff. Remember, budgeting is not boring. It's actually really fun. So just remember, keep doing you, boo. And stay consistent. Okay, so that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, bye.